Let's talk about a perfect Bionicle set, and that's Cricker. He rocks. Let's discuss why this set is great, and how you can use the parts that come in this set for your own LEGO creations, and we'll check out some amazing Cricker revamps too. Let's go. Cricker is peak Makuta design. Now sure, the other Makuta that came out in 2008, honestly, they were brilliant. Many of them had really unique body designs. Many of them gave us fantastic new pieces or used existing pieces in some really fun ways. The designs all felt so fitting for eerie, frightening villains. But in a wave of uniquely built Makuta, Cricker stood out, which is saying something, right? This mad lad looks terrifying. All these appendages, they look like blood covered bones. All of these exclusive pieces, they come with a colour that pretty much only appears on this set. Bricklink refers to this colour as milky white with marbled red pattern. <laughs> now, according to Biosector, Cricker was designed by LEGO designer David Bird, and he was inspired by insects and aliens when he was making Cricker. And yeah, I can see that. This creepy, long, bony limb design is so distinct. I mean, heck, you have comic images like this where he's emerging from the swamp. This dude is freaking terrifying. This unique body shape, the creepy coloration, this skeletal limb design, everything about this man looks like he's fresh out of a horror movie. It really is peak Makuta design. It's unlike any that we got before. And that's what makes him cool. He's actually scary. David Bird, you killed it when you were designing this toy. Well done. Now, let's take a closer look at all the magical pieces that come in this set and see how we can use them for our own characters. Now yeah, I mentioned all those bony weapon elements. From just buying one copy of this set, you get an incredible assortment of these pieces, which is fantastic. Now, yeah sure, the unique colour of these pieces, it can make it a little bit difficult to pair it with other pieces. It's difficult, but it's not impossible. Paturan here has an older creation called Corval, and it combines these pieces with elements that also appeared on the Baraki set, Prydak. Now, while Prydak doesn't have that same milky white colour to his pieces, he does have a very similar marbled effect on some of his different pieces. And as we can see here, they do blend quite well with these pieces. And hey, using Cricker's head for a scythe weapon? Genius. So yeah man, if you have Prydak and you have Cricker, their pieces make for some pretty nice combinations. Or alternatively, you could use them like Mitch Builds has done here on his mock, Hellspawn Incarnate. These pieces, uh, oh yeah, these pieces are the perfect addition for a demonic or devil-like character. So if you are building something that's a little bit more like creepy and hellish, then these pieces are a must have. And don't they just look so good on this mock? Mitch knows what he's doing, he's such a good builder. Now, something that's interesting, if we take a look at this head design here, we can see that there's a couple blade pieces that share this exact same color that we see on Cricker, but those pieces don't appear in this set. These awesome Bionicle blades, they actually came on an old Exoforce set called Blade Titan. It's one of very few pieces that has this exact same coloration as Cricker. So again, if you happen to have this set, then those pieces are a perfect pair to Cricker's pieces. And then one last mark that uses these pieces, Eclipse Caller has used them on Graveyard Angel. I mean, look at this. Using Witch Doctor's Mask and Zamosphere Launcher Holders and all kinds of other pieces to create an awesome skeleton aesthetic, it all pairs so well with these Cricker parts. And how good do they look when you spam them like this and use it as a wing design? Genius. Cricker also comes with four of these black Avmatoran arm pieces, and Max Howell uses them here in a fantastic way on his mock Daddy Long Legs. We can see these limb pieces on these rather long legs, and the unique 90 degree angle of this specific limb piece, it allows the builder to create this incredibly distinct design. It feels so alien and otherworldly. And honestly, without this piece, this leg design wouldn't look half as good as it does. Such a crucial element that does quite a lot for this build. Additionally, the Maestro uses this piece on his Jala revamp. Now it's a little tucked away here, but you can see it's just here on the torso in dark red. Once again, they're taking advantage of the unique angle of this piece, and they're using it to kind of just like fill in one of the gaps on the torso here. And it's also a really nice way to bridge the top of the chest into the middle of the body. Yeah, what a good use of that part. Now Cricker and all the different Mystica sets, they come with the lovely Naira Ghost Blaster. And it's a great blaster by itself, but if we take out a few of the pieces and just use this silver element, then we could do something similar to what Cameron has done here. See how he's integrated it into this lower leg design? Isn't that clever? It really does make for a very different and snazzy looking leg. 
That's pretty cool. But also this mock by Ethan Westervelt, that's also pretty cool. If we take a look at the back here, you can see that this specific piece is surrounded by a few other pistons, and it makes for an interesting kind of jetpack design. And on his flicker, there's also an image where this jetpack like flips forward and becomes like a turret. It looks magnificent, but you'll have to check out the links in the description if you want to see that image. I'll have links to all the builders that I featured today in the description below, so go check that stuff out. These builders are great, and they've got a lot of cool stuff for you to see. Now the other side of this Naira Ghost Blaster, it has this cool air pump piece in red. And Loaf Builds has used this piece, but in grey, and it's integrated very nicely into this Wenua Mox torso design. I really, really like how this looks. It's such a fun and different way to spice up a torso design for a Bionicle. Cricker also comes with this torso piece. It's the same torso piece that we see on all of the Fantoka villains. However, they have the rib cage and the Tridax pod inside the torso, but Cricker does not. Now, you could use this torso piece much like Gord Builds has done here. If you look closely, you can see that this dude here uses this torso for this snazzy head design. I love seeing a torso piece working very, very well for a head. Not something you'd expect, but I like it. Now, speaking of torsos, the gap in that torso piece is filled with this white torso armor on the actual set. And low-key, it's a pretty good piece. Loaf Builds has used it here on this mock called Riot Flea 017. And yeah, wow, another torso piece that works well for a head design. It surprisingly has some nice bug-like qualities to it, doesn't it? So that's how you can use some of the pieces that come in this set. But what if you want to revamp Cricker? Well, here's some inspiration for you. So Ezreal has done a revamp of Cricker, and it's called Cricker the Endless Ingester. Ezreal's done away with all those milky white bone pieces, and instead he's gone for a colour scheme that's primarily white with some really nice hints of red. And all these red pieces look great. It kind of looks like veins of blood or exposed muscles. It's gross. But that's kind of the point. Ezreal was intending to build some sort of eldritch makuta, and this fits that description very, very well. And hey, if you can't afford to buy Cricker as a set, you can do what Ezreal's done here. This mock pretty much uses none of the pieces that came on the actual set. And I always love seeing people do that. Yeah, I mean, this brick-built head design and using those Kopaka G2 blade pieces for the weapons that we see on uh, Cricker's front hands there, those are such fantastic substitutes. Forcing yourself to build a character and use none of the pieces that come in the official set, it's just such a good breeding ground for creativity. So Ezreal's revamp was pretty similar to the original set, but this one is fairly different. Joe Swansas has reimagined Cricker, but instead he looks a bit more like a cartoon character. And of course, he's standing up, he's humanoid. Now look, I do prefer the original unique body shape that we see on the set, but it is fun to picture what they could look like as a humanoid. A bit of a cheeky little what-if build, or seeing this character in an alternate universe, that's always fun, isn't it? And also the use of a Pridak foot as the head here, it's wonderfully silly, but also very splendid. It almost looks like they've got this big long beard, and then little tiny strands of hair sticking out the top of their head. It's a great part use, and a very, very original way to envision the character. And now Lewis Hammond has built a Hero Factory version of Cricker. Mixing in lots of CCBS, it does look pretty good on him. Uh, but also, the idea of making Cricker a Hero Factory character. Lewis said this on the description for this mock on Flickr. I think of him as a strange insect creature whose body and limbs were brutally damaged, and they've now been replaced with mechanical parts by an evil scientist. Yeah, you know, honestly, of all the Bionicle characters to be taken from that universe and brought into the Hero Factory world, Cricker works surprisingly well. I love that idea. And you could easily do the same concept, but with other characters too. Sarcasmus brings us another humanoid Cricker, and man, Cricker with a cape? That's rather lovely, isn't it? And I also like that even in his humanoid form, Cricker still has a very unique face design. This one here uses this armor piece that we see on Takanuva Star's torso. That's such a genius way to use that piece, isn't it? And finally, Yuri Fasio has built Crickan Tribe. Wow, it's very rare to see people build an entire tribe of a character, or to take a specific character and then build a different species for them and make a whole series of what that could look like. Yeah, it's fun to see all the different body shapes and body types, but of course they all share that exact same mask, the legs and the hands. Now, yeah, it might be a bit more pricey to do something like this. Yuri bought these sets when they were very, very cheap on Bricklink, and you could still buy the sets on shelves for clearance and stuff. It's not really something that would be super easy to do today, unfortunately. But hey, if you did want to make that investment, look at the results you can get. It's beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, check these mocks out when they're under UV light. Creepy stuff. So yeah, Cricker rocks. It's a great set with great parts. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review and you got a little bit inspired by these mocks. Thanks for watching, happy building, and bye for now.